Hey guys, it's Agonis Dilmer again, and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm really excited because I'm gonna continue the videos with AR Foundation. And in this video, I'm going to show you AR Occlusion in AR Core. This is something new that Google added in their Dev API that was released not too long ago. And also Unity already made it available in AR Foundation for that 1.0. So I'm gonna show you some of the components that you need to add to the camera. I'm also gonna show you what you see playing behind the scenes, which is a demo that I created and I'm gonna make available in GitHub for you. So you guys can download it, you can test it, you can see how that works on your device. And just know that the device that I'm using is the Google Pixel version four. So let's jump into Unity and I start working on it. All right guys, so let me show you what I have done today, which is to actually execute a demo that I created in my new Google Pixel. So. I'm gonna go ahead and hit play and show you the results. So what I did is I added plane detection and that's, that's why you can see the planes. I also added a statue from the asset store. And the reason I did that is so that I could show you how occlusion works in Android. You can see that I'm trying to get a plane detected. There's the statue shown in there, which looks really cool. I'm also gonna be putting the credits of the creator of that in the description of this video. You can see how occlusion is working in here. And it's really powerful, you know, if I compare this to, you know, what's happening in iOS. And I know many of you asked me for this feature and I'm glad that Google released that feature and Unity right after made it available. So you guys can see how Occlusion is working there. I'm also gonna get to a point where, there we go. So the statue is actually hiding the one that is behind the scenes and, and things are working just, just really well. You can see I'm adding another one there and trying to see if we can get occlusion on this on this side and see how it's it's working and just know that i am you know moving my phone really fast so i'm not being very fair but that's what i want to show you i'm going to show you the project that i created and i'm also going to be sharing this project in github so just just know that that's going to be available so the first thing and the most important thing is going to be a couple of components so if we go here to the ar session origin you're gonna see that I have the AR Plane Manager, I also have the AR Raycast Manager, and a Placement Controller. Placement Controller has a reference to the Lion, and the Lion is the one that you saw in the scene. So if I were to, you know, drag and drop the Lion, you're gonna see the Lion, you know, showing up in there. So let me go ahead and, and delete that. So if I go back and let's just get rid of, let's actually leave it in there. I think it looks cool if I just leave it. But the other thing that you also need to add if you go into the AR camera, this is what's available on the new version of AR Foundation. And I'm gonna show you some of those packages in just a minute, but just know that this is gonna be the component that you're gonna be adding to the AR camera. You're going to add the AR Occlusion Manager. And this is the one that works for iOS. They also, which is AR Key, they also expand it to AR core, so that's why you can see some of these things are iOS only for now. But right now, what I ended up doing is the environment that mode, I set it to medium. You can probably get better results if you do best. I just didn't test it with best yet. I'm just using medium. And then the occlusion preference mode, I set it to prefer environment occlusion. So that's all you need to do here. And the AR session origin, like I said, airplane manager, raycast manager, and placement controller, that is so that I can play something so you guys can see it. Then the other thing that I also wanted to show you that is really, really important is gonna be the packages, right? That's mainly what you're here for is because you wanna know what versions you, do you need. So the first and foremost is going to be Unity, right? The version of Unity that you're gonna need. So if we go into the Unity Hub, you're gonna see that it says here Unity 2018.4.1F1. And that is the latest LTS version that Unity requires for this to work. So. If you go under installs, well, in my case, you can see that I, that's the version that I'm running. I have Android. This is the only project that I've been using this on, but that's the one that they require. Just make sure that you install that. If you don't, if you don't do that, it's not going to show you the right packages. That's the mistake that I did when I was playing around with this. The other thing that you're also going to need is you're going to need the for that one that zero for AR Foundation. I'm using Preview that too. If you see a new Preview by then, then just go ahead and make sure that you install that. The other component that you're also gonna need is going to be AR Core XR plugin. Again, I'm matching the versions for that 1.0 preview two, and I'm making sure that my versions matches with the AR Foundation. So once you get that installed and set up, you're gonna go into the build settings and make sure you change it to Android, of course. And in my case, I'm using a Google Pixel 4 because this device supports the Dev API. I'm also gonna show you 
or the device that support the Dev API. But let's click on player settings. The other thing that you're going to need after you install the components that I show you, the XR AR Core plugin, you're going to go here and you're going to make sure that you check this box. This is going to be the plugin provider for the XR components. So we're using AR Core, so make sure you check that. And also make sure that you set this requirement to require. That's really all, all I needed to do to make that work. And if we go back in here, let's go ahead and look at, let's go ahead and go back into player settings and look at the player itself. So a few settings that I needed to change. These came with Vulkan already set up, so I had to remove, remove it because it's not supported by Android. And then I ended up setting this to OpenGL ES3. That's the one that I supported. And that's the one that I'm running on the demo, so I know and I'm certain that that works. The other things that I also did were I changed the minimum API level. In my case, I'm not an Android expert, so I don't know the best minimum version. In my case, this is the one that I set up. It's API level 25. I'm more familiar with iOS, and that's why I'm telling you that I'm not the best one to you know that comes to knowledge about Android. But this is the one that I set up, and everything works. And the target API level, I set it to automatic. I grabbed the highest that was installed. And everything else, I think I left you know, the way that it is. I just changed you know, company name, product name, and then version. That's basically everything that I need to do. I added the, the, basically the scene that I have right now. And then everything in here is just the same. I just you know, selected the device that, device that I had. I went into build, build it, created the APK, and then that basically, well, I did build and run, and that pushed it to my device. So that's everything that you need to do on this project. Again, I'm going to be putting this, I'm going to make it available this weekend in GitHub, so make sure that you download it. The only thing that I wanted to also show you, not my my drive, but I want to show you the this documentation, which is really helpful. So if you go to this, and I'm going to be putting this in the description of this video, so let me go ahead and just going to paste it here so I know and remember. These are some of the AR core supported devices, but when I was looking for a device to buy, I wanted to make sure the device that I was going to buy was going to support occlusion. So I did a search here, and I searched for depth. And as soon as I did this, you can see that this supports the depth API. Most of the devices that Google has support that. I ended up getting the Pixel 4, and I saw that it did support, support the depth API. So I was OK with that. Then other devices you can see that are also highlighted. You can also see here on the right-hand side that a lot of the devices in here support the Dev API. So make sure that you go into this documentation before you try to do occlusion on your own and you find out that your device might not support it. But if it does support it, then great. You can just you know follow along with the tutorial that I show you. So that's everything that I wanted to show you guys. It's gonna, this was going to be a very short tutorial because you know most of the work is handled by Error Core in Unity. So, if you guys have any other questions about anything that I just show you, please let me know in the comments.